Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm gonna be showing you, I guess you could call it a pretty cool and heartwarming easter egg that Bethesda decided to add in their new Nuka World DLC. Now, easter egg is probably one of the only terms I can think about when I think of this, but if you guys think there is a more suitable word for what this is, then please tell me in the comment section below. But this easter egg is very sentimental to one person in general, and his name is Andy. His link will be in the description of this video. And earlier today, I was on the Fallout 4 Reddit when I saw this post about how Bethesda actually turned his brother into a character in Nuka World. And the story is pretty touching, I have to admit. It's a very sad story indeed. And props to Bethesda. This is really a nice thing to do for a genuine nice kind of guy. So yeah. So a couple of weeks ago, Andy decided to put a Reddit post on the Fallout 4 Reddit, in which he thanks Bethesda and he thanks Fallout 4. And this is all partly due to the fact that he spent over 500 hours in this game because of the new survival story mode, and he loved it that much. And sadly, his dad, his father, passed away last year, age 56, and, you know, Andy states that he didn't take it well, and when Automatron actually came out, he found a sentry bot, and yeah, he named it after his father, which is, you know, a very nice thing to do indeed. And he said, whilst he was on his wasteland journeys with this robot, with essentially the robot named after his father, he bonded with him pretty well. Now everything there sounds really great, it really does, but this next part of his reddit post is where it gets really sad and I will have it on screen right now and I will be reading the exact words that Andy has written in this post, so here we go. However, today my younger brother, age 24, is in the ICU. They don't think that he'll make it. Diabetes related stuff. He and I both love the Fallout franchise, always theorizing what we'd do if the events of Fallout occurred in real life. He always wanted to be a super mutant, and I always wanted to be a ghoul, so that we could travel the world together forever. Though I'm not sure if super mutants have an unlimited lifespan, but I do digress. With contraptions, I made a really cool tower that I wanted to show him. I just finished it today when I got the call that he was in the ICU. Thank you Bethesda for providing this wonderful game and distraction for everything that I'm going through. It's going to suck wandering this real world without my little brother, but at least he got to meet my son. Ad Victorium little brother, I'll see you in the wasteland. That's actually really hard stuff, I cannot imagine what he was going through, I cannot imagine my little brother, you know, passing away, that would be pretty horrible stuff indeed, but Andy then goes on to keep everybody updated on the current events of his brother in the ICU, as at that point of posting, he wasn't actually passed, but you know, the doctors did say that he was eventually going to pass, and he went on to update, he he didn't make it, flatlined, I lost my first friend, and that is, that's actually very touching words, I, I really do feel for this guy, that is very horrible stuff indeed, and you know, this is a very horrible time for his life, you know, at that point, that was very horrible. Anyhow, moving on to the awesome news for Andy is that yes, Bethesda actually put his brother Evan into the game, in which you can find him at the very bottom of Nuka World, sitting on a chair, enjoying the view, and obviously enjoying the view, that's a very nice way to go and put this, you know, he states how much the view is beautiful, and that he admires the view. Very sad stuff indeed, I have to admit. You can find the original Reddit post in the description. Um, if by any chance Andy is watching this, dude, I feel so much for you about your family. I do hope that, you know, Fallout's new DLC can provide a very awesome distraction. And uh, God bless to your dad and to your little brother. Uh, but anyway guys, that has pretty much been it for today's video, I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you can all appreciate how awesome it was of Bethesda to actually do this for Andy and his family and for his brother's memory especially. Uh, but anyway guys, again, that has pretty much been it and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!